everyone, welcome back to Myra Studio Sketch Club. My name is Izzy, next to me is my dad Jason, and just behind us is my mom Cindy. Happy Mother's Day everyone! Yay! <laughs> this week we'll be doing... <sighs> Hold on, I got this. Bonsai Aesthetic. And tonight we'll be doing a 30 minute sketch on a tree with graceful asymmetry hey let's go <laughs> <laughs> Yay. all right i'll take it from here i think she she just she said oh i did that so i'm done so <laughs> I, had to, I, had to. I know that celebration was good you earned it well earned thank you so yeah so um i love 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 trees hello miss susan and uh, I get sucked back into bonsai aesthetic every now and then. And um, if, for those of you who don't know, it's um, the art of miniature trees and a big part of that is as the aesthetic design of it. So we're gonna pick out two this week and we're gonna spend 30 minutes tonight and then 30 minutes Tuesday night um, on bonsais and we'll be sketching from those. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to share the schedule for this week. So tomorrow there'll be the demo for class. That'll be 8.30 to 10.30. 8.30 to 9.30, I'll do the lilacs. And then from 9.30 to about 10.30, I'll do the sunset. Um, tomorrow night we have Masterworks on YouTube for free. And then Tuesday, Wednesday morning, YouTube morning jump start. 8 a.m., that is specific standard time. And we'll be back here Tuesday night, Facebook for Sketch Club. 7 p.m. and that will be our free programs for this week and then Friday's class I'm gonna demonstrate the painting the start of the painting the painting demonstration so uh, if you're in the class uh, Monday and Friday mornings are for you everybody else you're welcome to everything else on there I hope to see you guys there so we got new comments new too. Comments. Excellent. Hey, hey, thank you. I appreciate. It. Oh, wait. For Move Izzy. Aside. What? Oh, oof. Oof, oof, oof. Hey. Look who's in the back there. Woohoo! She's all over the place. <laughs> Just like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. All right. So, happy Mother's Day, everybody. Are we ready to get sketching? So, we're going to do 130 minute tonight. And uh, anything else, Mama? Can we go forward? Let's sketch. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you're going to see the reference image in the top left there. And uh, part of the bonsai is the shallow pots that they're planted in. And that helps to give the feeling of scale to the tree. So what you're seeing what I do now, that's how I generally start any painting or drawing or before I get into it. If it's not gonna smudge it up, I literally trace my fingers over what I'm thinking about. And then we've gotta find this graceful, graceful curve, but it's not a circle. We want it to look natural and organic, but also what? Is that the fancy word I learned? Aesthetically. Pleasing. Balanced, pleasing would be another word. Thank Excellent. You. <laughs> you get bonus points for not repeating what I said, but coming up with a different word. That is awesome. Even if it was an accident, I will give you bonus points for that. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> so, one thing you might not think about is what kind of container would you fit this into if we dropped dropped off 
a vertical from the furthest point on each side and a horizontal from the top and the bottom? Is it a box? Is it a rectangle? Is it tall? Is it long? Is it square? I guess it'd be wide instead of long, huh? Yeah, I think so. You think so? You've got me confused now. Say, yep. it, say it again. Mm -hmm. Say it again. I, I need to process this. <laughs> <laughs> I said tall or long, but I said it wouldn't be long in this case. It would be wide. Is wide or long the third dimension? I don't know. You're the one who told me to slow down. You wanted to figure it out? Yeah. So why I are you said giving me, slow down. So why I'm you going me into attitude? deep depth or whatever. I just wanted depth. to hear the sentence again. No, no depth for you? Mm -mm. Oh, don't have your floaties today? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> why did you agree before you got upset? I can swim just fine. Uh, okay. I was like, yes, hey. <laughs> then why are you avoiding the deep if you can swim in it? Because sometimes you don't know what lives in the depth. Oh, you're afraid of sharks? Yes. Oh. Mind sharks? Thought sharks? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> what do those look like and what do they do? They bite. They damage your psyche? Psyche? What's that? Psyche is like mental your mental state. your mental image state. Sure. Okay. <laughs> because, I mean, if it was a thought shark it wouldn't actually damage your body right it, it, it could if it like there is your mental ability and your physical and sometimes they go hand in hand so if this gets messed up it also could affect that so if you think a shark bites you then your body's going to be messed up is that what you're saying no but there could be things in your brain i'm not getting into this right now <laughs> could have fooled me <laughs> no, fine, if you insist upon No, I'm saying that If you think a shark bites you Your body's not going to react As if a sh shark You got bitten by a shark But It will do things To now Being more afraid of Said shark See where I'm going with this? Yeah, and just that you just that we had said shark in there, you, shark. you got an, got an A from me. That's impressive. At least a <laughs> smile from your papa. That's my girl. That's my girl. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> nice and humble, just like we like them. Mm, okay. So part of the beauty of this, and I exaggerated it on here too, is the natural taper of the tree, right? To give it edge from the top to the bottom. And. Um, I like to work up in both directions, across and along. And sometimes I'll tend to go back and forth one to the other on each step each time I revisit. Revisit that area. And here what I'm doing is I'm trying to see the foliage as, uh, as a big kind of mass designed rather than put in a bunch of individual things because the size and placement of each of those is very important to this design. A big part of the bonsai aesthetic comes from this unequal spacing between the pads of foliage and the, the limbs and the negative shapes. Oh, look at Mama gently nudging me along. She's so sweet. So reference images. Uh, this one and the one for Tuesday can be found on the website. She's got the link in the comments. And if you're on there on your own looking around, check under Sketch Club. And as you hover, which means just let your mouse kind of hang out there mm -hmm. over that word, a brand new menu will pop up, just like magic. And, uh,. You can find the reference images right there, behind the magic door. Special. What's wrong with a little magic? You were born with a computer. I don't want to hear it. There, this is another crowd. This isn't for you. <laughs> this is not for you.
You don't even know of a time before computers, so. Well, I can't help that I was born in So this don't be giving me a look, because I'm talking to me and my old-timey friends here. Your old-timey friends? Yeah, we remember time before computers. Cool. You wouldn't know about that. Nope. But it was. It was way cool. We could do things, and people would not have video of it. You do realize you can't do that now. It's just called not carry your phone everywhere. Yeah, but what are the odds of that? Um, what are the odds of you not having it is the real answer. Touché. Those are some good eyebrow raises you have there. You been working those out? <laughs> 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 Pretty smooth. I like them. I like them. So... In order for your drawing to be graceful, like the tree, it's going to have to come and go for more or less. We're going to have to have a few surprises in there. Surprises. Izzy likes surprises, don't you, Izzy? Oh, I absolutely love them. Yep. If they're in front of her friends, they're even better. Right, is? <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, there we go. My voice. Are everything okay there? <laughs> My voice came out. It came out? As I was trying to talk. So I had to do the weird thing and it got it back. I forgot what I was going to say. I sound sick. There we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your gremlin to work day. <laughs> I think we're gonna get gremlin of the day here. Gremlin of the day here. <laughs> and you created it. Yeah. You're half gremlin. I'm what? If you're half gremlin, or maybe you, how would that work? You just I think you need gremlin. to spend some more time with Susan there. Let her show you how genetics and all that stuff works. Sounds like some fun summer camp to me. <laughs> Maybe. You no. can you can go around and do her chores and she can follow you around and give you some knowledge. Like no. Yeah. Maybe. Life life on the farm, life on the life ranch. Life on the farm. Life on the ranch, they got animals. Yeah. Up early, up with the sun. Mm, that that before, sounds more like you. Before the sun. It's the good time. It's not. It is. You wake up, someone just wakes up before the sun. I beat the sun today. Go me. I'm in a race with the sun. A giant star. Mm, nobody mentioned anything about a race. But that's exactly what... It's more of an experience. You get to experience the quiet time of the day. Before the uh, <coughs> uh, nonsense starts. Oh. <laughs> 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 oof yeah. oof she won't even take you at the ranch that's brutal she says read the books i got them you got them got them you got them if you got them read them that's how the saying goes <laughs> what i'm like annoying what <laughs> your arm every time i like really touch it always goes down does it <laughs> yeah uh. Maybe I'm repelled by you. Oof. Oof. I said repelled, not repulsed. That, oh, that hurt. What? That I said the good word, not the bad word. You said both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he sensitive tonight all of a sudden? Um, no, I'm not sensitive. Oh, you're not? I am sensitive, but I'm not. You are, but you're not. Okay. I have a tougher and a softer side. You get one, not both. Choose Wait. your side. How can you, do you get cut in half? How can somebody get one side of you and not the other? I mean, if you pick up one end of the stick, don't you pick up the other? Isn't that how sides work? No? Do we have a problem? Is there new math I don't know about? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Susan said, I just meant for genetics. She can come to the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I know what you meant, Susan. I was trying to give Izzy a hard time, though. I gotta take what I can get. I, I think. I figure I got about maybe a month and a half of being smarter than her, and then it's a losing <laughs> battle from here. So. In exactly one month, we'll be out of school, so you get a little bit of summer to be smarter than me. A little bit of summer? You're gonna quit being smart when summertime or something? Quit learning? No. You're gonna be I'm spending more time around me, which means you're gonna be learning more. You know how I work. You know the dynamics of our relationship. So fun. You're such so a good fun. listener. Great <laughs> at it. But then there are a couple times where I will just remember little things you said when you don't think I'm paying attention, and then I get dad points. You do get dad points. That's for sure. Every once in a while. What do you think about my drawing? Tell me I what you see. It looks bendy. Mom says bendy. What do you see? See that stiff straight right there? Yeah. Looks like someone. You think I? You think I can uh, fix that? Watch what's gonna happen here. Oh. Okay. What's what's gonna happen here? No. Sometimes, if an element is a certain way that looks a little stiff to me, you can add another element to offset it. And that's what a lot of drawing and painting is about: is a relationship. trying to demonstrate something here. Cool. You really got the depth on that pot. Like you feel like it goes around. You know where that comes from? Your charcoal sketch books? <laughs> <laughs> right. But the feeling of depth actually, oops, I'm a little low right now. Look at, but um, that cast shadow of the tree oh, across yeah, yeah. the top of the... The dark against the light? Well, the, it goes across the top of the soil. So it shows that it's blocking the sun out. So, or the light out. Good. The light. So what I was doing right there was just actually tapping the other side of the tree, the light side, so that the dark line was a little bit grayer. Nice jaw action, my man. Let's paint it. Jaw action. Your jaw went. Mm. Is it like, like mm. that? Mm. Why did it do that for? I don't know, cause you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's trying to get away from you. Trying to what? Get away from you. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that was a good one. I'll give you that one. That was good. I'll give you a bonsai fact. A bonsai fact. Okay. There are two. Bonsai trees that are over a thousand years old. Yep. So did you guys hear that? There are two bonsai trees that are over one thousand years old. One is in Japan and one is in Italy. Japan and Italy. That's crazy. <laughs> Mom says it's crazy. How do you feel about those facts? Imagine Izzy? just walking up to it and like leaning on it to take oh, a photo God. with it, and then since it's so old, the roots give out and it falls, and then you're blamed for like the rest of your life. Actually, your life is probably only about a hundred years, so you'd be blamed for probably ten of your lives, because it's a thousand years old. Yeah, I guess so. Well, no, because technically, if it's so like special, then you'd probably go into like books and newspapers, and then people can read later on. So technically, you'll be blamed even in later on. I said something smart. You better acknowledge oh, what? that. Uh, well, okay. Well, Let me have my win, tree man. Okay. Win, win for Izzy. Win for Izzy, and uh, we'll save logic for another another grade. No, it... Mm. What? Nothing. <laughs> have you had truth tables yet? What the heck is that? That's logic. Truth tables. Well, no, but I'm saying, if you were the cause of an action and it was a great impact, it would probably go into newspapers or news stories... And later on, like we do now, we can look back way back and find newspaper articles so you'll technically be blamed for longer than just your lifetime. Hmm. Yeah. See? No. <coughs> <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, when she graduates, my household guys, watch out. She's going to be fierce. Intellectually fierce. I have a pretty dang expansive imagination, too. Boom. Yeah. You already know the vibe. You know the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yep, just trying to give you some tools. Trying to give you some tools. I didn't realize I waited so long. You know that thing I told you about a second ago about that straight? I still haven't got to that. You hoard yeah. a snare. You're hearing things, Claudia. You're hearing things. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. I know I do. I hear it. Hey, check snort. it out. This is what I was talking about. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. We'll snort after. We'll celebrate with a snort. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound good, does it? No. no. You see a little bend inside with the white? So on some of these, there's dead wood that goes along with the, uh, the living tissue around, and the dead wood is lighter. <clears throat> and as it goes out onto a little stem there, it's called like a gen. So we're using that to break that big, straight, dark. How clever is that? Is that like Charlie Brown clever? So smart. Yeah? It's so smart. Like old timey smart or yeah. like new timey smart? Um, somewhere in between. Somewhere in between, maybe the 70s. <laughs> is that, is the 70s between old timey and new timey? I'm just wondering. Sure, Yeah. That. All right. All right, cool, I can deal with that. Stupid chair. Hey, be nice. Don't take advantage of inanimate objects. <laughs> she tell, he tells to a girl that when she bumps into inanimate objects, she apologizes to them, so. Have you never heard me do that before? You do that on the outside of your brain? I'm just wondering. Yes, I okay. do that on the outside of my brain. <laughs> <sighs> you were, you've been reminding me of someone with those glasses, and I've been trying to figure out who it is, and I just can't put my finger on it. Hmm. It's sad because it would be a really good insult. Your father? No. No. It's Your got, mother? It's got like the cool little box look. It's the box look? Mm hmm. I'm uh. Where are your glasses? We all could be glasses buddies, but you had to leave us hanging? I what? did. Wow. Sorry. See how you really feel? Oh, uh, yeah. So, how many more weeks of chess club is he? Two. I think. Wait, one? I don't know. <laughs> I can't count. Three. Three more weeks of chess club. Figured that out on my own. Yep. Been fun. Four years. Four years. A club I thought would last six weeks lasted four <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> it's that mag magnetism you guys had. Magnetism. Made people want to play. Yeah. I always threaten to kick them out, and the club just got bigger. <laughs> well, it just, ugh, it just didn't work out for me. I have communication problems, I think. They all just hang around for the tournaments, because then we all, we all had super fun times. Super fun times at the tournament? Plus, we kicked butt in the tournaments. We got, like, those overalls all the time. You guys were good. In you guys were good. Okay, in a year, there are usually four tournaments. And you can win the top school in K through eighth, which is kindergarten, uh, K through third, which is kindergarten through third grade. And we won all four tournaments and we slept. We're the best. You're the best. I just said that. You better soak that in. <laughs> That's not coming yeah, out a while. A He's a great coach. Wow. Glad we got this recorded. <laughs> Note the day, note the day. <laughs> no, I'm going to be replaying this a lot. I won't have to find it. It'll be on repeat. <laughs> be on repeat. So something very quote-unquote seemingly simple will look a lot better or not quite so good with as we come and go from that dark. Does that make sense to you when I say come and go of that dark? See how that dark works its way up the tree oh, and kind of across? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. And then down to the pot. The little ring pot. Mm-hmm. 
So if you see that simply as a dark shape and think about it as a journey of the dark shape, we want to think about how maybe asymmetrically beautiful it can be, right? Can it come from somewhere, go somewhere, be different at each phase and unique? And then what you're seeing me do here is I'm coming back and just roughing up the bark a little bit. Right, so I'm going back and instead of doing one solid line, doing slightly different angles and shorter little lines, and it'll give the feeling of bark rather than the feeling of plastic or a tree that's wrapped or something. Wrapped? Wrapped, wrapped in plastic or canvas oh, okay. for transport. No. You didn't realize there was a huge tree smuggling organization in the world, did you? Yeah. I forgot. Tree kidnappers. Tree kidnappers. Darn them. <laughs> it's true. I found a new way to. <laughs> to. Is that box? <laughs> okay. I, I thought you were trying to flex your muscles, so. No. I, okay. Those are not existent. Those are not existent. <laughs> well, then I wouldn't recommend searching for new ways to box or box at all if you have non existent <laughs> muscles. Probably would not be an intelligent thing to do. <laughs> but I will admit, you do look funny doing it. You do look funny doing it, so you got that going for you. Yeah. I could be a comedy boxer. A comedy boxer? <laughs> Knock out those laughs. Yeah, those are. I think they, they got pretty good health plans, I think. <laughs> <laughs> We'll never have to worry about you again. <laughs> oh no, she's doing great. She's a comedy boxer. <laughs> Imagine I lose, that'd be sad. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next generation's always taking it to the next level. Yes, we are. A losing comedy boxer. Oof. Oof. No, then it'd just be a. It wouldn't be comedy in there. It'd just be a comedy boxer because if I was losing, that would make it the comedy. But you'd be a losing comedy boxer if you were trying to be a comedic boxer and nobody was laughing. Okay. Yeah. It's so it's like, what level of loser are we? A lot. A lot? Is that a level? Uh, yeah. You're a lot of losers. <laughs> You're a lot of losers. <laughs> <laughs> that, <doesn't even> <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, but you, sound, you, you sounded very cool with how you said it, just very confident. And I don't think I should be encouraging that, but I was impressed. We got the vibe. Got the vibe. Ow, my ankle hurts. Okay, so I hope some of you guys are, uh, most of you guys are sketching along here. And, um, you know, the first few times I tried to do something like this, it wasn't very pretty. But this is, this is a, a, a good exercise. It's a really good exercise. Because you gotta, there's not a lot of room for, uh, oh, I'll just do this and that. You kind of got to do that specifically, particularly this, hey, buddy. How are you today? and specifically that, and in particularly not this. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. All right. Here do we I always the train right there. Do I always go the same direction with everything? No. You end up at the same destination. What's the destination I always end up at? A long explanation for something that probably didn't need that. A long explanation for something. Probably didn't need it. Okay. Is it really an explanation, though? <laughs> or I'm trying to expand your vision into seeing something s a way you normally wouldn't see it? See, you did it right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, next time you want to say, I'm doing it again, but I'm helping you out. Case in point. Okay. I just had this vision of when you said, I hope everybody's sketching. What if, what if Claudia is there with like in the spy movies with like headsets on and all those computers, trying to wait for a snort? <laughs> <laughs> Claudia the snort or a hunter? <laughs> oh my, that's a good vision, baby. That's a good vision. Thank you for sharing your vision. That, You're welcome. That made my day better. Oof. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I can ever look Claudia in the eye again, but it made my day better. 
<laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I said, I figure I got about a month and a half of outsmarting her and then uh it's losing <laughs> battles from there on out. Losing battles from there on out. Hot, you think you're winning. <laughs> 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 exactly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> You're gonna have to go on tour, kid. You have to go on tour. <laughs> Maybe just drop the boxing, stick with comedy. Okay. All right. See if your uncle Michael, Aunt Donna can help you out with their connections. She's failing comedy school. <laughs> Hits it out of the park and then dead air. <laughs> That's me. That's me, Shadi. That is not a pregnant pause. That is a not what? a pregnant pause. That is not a pregnant pause. What's that? I don't know. He taught it to me in one of the other classes, but I had no idea what it was called. It's a comedy device where you pause to build suspense. So I, the pause I, I, I understand. makes the audience expect. Mm -hmm. So the pause is pregnant because we're expecting. Like the pregnant mother is expecting oh, a I, child. I, well, I was thinking to the fact of the as it builds suspense, just like the baby grows, the suspense is growing. That's uh. another way to say it. Another way to think about it. Ha! So don't I, leave, don't leave the baby in too long like you did the last time. <laughs> Pardon me. The pause was too long. You left the baby in too long. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not okay. You, 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 you go so good, and then like all of a sudden, you just go literal on me and like freak yourself out. <laughs> I'm like, I thought we were right here, hand in hand. And <laughs> you just, no, I'm way back there, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as long as we got GPS on you. Occasionally. GPS and a leash. <laughs> That's why you need them. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, how can we make marks where the foliage feels lighter than the wood? Smudgy tool. There's a question for you. It's to contemplate, to sit with, to meditate upon, to investigate, to grok. To think deeply about. Okay. Okay. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, it is dangerous trying to get you to understand me. Hey, I can understand you sometimes, and sometimes I just, I'm lost. And there's that part, there's like that halfway mark where it's like, I know what he's saying, I just don't know how to like portray it upon something. Hey. I think you're beautiful, Claudia. I think you're beautiful. Wow, I see how it's going to be. You are quite out. sophisticated for your age, so I'm just teasing you. But one of the reasons I tease you is to make you think. And so you're a thinker already. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I think I'm going to get hurt. Okay, well, let's do it on film. Yeah. Let's do it on film. All right, everybody. So let's wow. see a rewind. So fancy. It's um, fancy. <laughs> So you see I build the gesture and then starting down at the base, I try to taper and build from there. And then each time I go through now, I'm thinking about the coming and going of the darks, the size, the value, the aesthetic pleasingness of it. The aesthetic balance. It's the aesthetic balance, excuse me. No, but I'm checking with myself and saying, um, excuse me, Jason, <laughs> is this aesthetically pleasing? And so, yeah, that's how I see if it's aesthetically balanced is I ask myself that very pointed, mm -hmm. splendid, polite question. 
Who the heck's in your head? Like this little man, a little tuxedo. I Jason. have all. I, I have a whole cast in my head. Uh, Yo, me that, too. Putting that white Boop. in that section makes such a difference. Yeah, it's. It, From that straight to really looking. Yeah, it really is all relative, and that and that's that's the beauty and the mystery and the poetry of it. So. You know, some are attracted to more illustrative things. I've always been attracted to the more poetic side of art, so that tends to be how I gravitate. Gravitate, gravitate. So how did you guys do? Did you do okay? We did great. Mother's Day special. Hey, there you go. I'm doing a Mother's Day special. If you guys have not taken Jason's charcoal sketching fundamental forms course, <laughs> Uh, for all you mothers, I don't care if you have live babies or fur babies or animals or whatever. Um, go use that coupon code Sketch Club Twenty Five. Your head up high. Don't be embarrassed, And you'll get twenty percent off the course. Do yourself a favor and take it. It's awesome. Wow. Bam. Who hired her? They need a bonus. That was awesome. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Check her out. All yeah, right, everybody. So let us. Born in. So let us know how. It, how it went again this month uh, this week's schedule tomorrow morning for our class 8 30 to 10 30 i'm going to be doing a color scheme demo lilacs from 10 30 to 8 30 to 9 30 excuse me and then from 9 30 to 10 30 i'll be doing the sunset uh tomorrow night everybody's welcome to youtube masterworks at 7 p.m we'll look at master paintings and drawings and see what they're up to Tuesday, Wednesday morning, YouTube at 8 a.m. We have morning jump start. And then Tuesday evening, we have Sketch Club again. So join us for another Sketch Club Tuesday. Hey, nice bonsai. Hey, it's covered. Oh, it is covered. Oh, all right. How do I get rid of that? Look Boom. That. There we go. Thanks, Mr. Pettit. All right, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to you guys. Bye Great guys. seeing you guys. Love you guys. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.